All right, everyone, we are at, you can't really tell, but it's Plaza Mexico. In Seacon. In Seacon. Yeah. And this is our second time here. First time was a washout. It was raining bad. Oh, too bad for video, but. Yeah. Hey, so, give us an excuse to come back midweek. Yeah. And the food, this it is why we're back. It was awesome. Yeah. So we're going to bring you along and uh, that's it. We're going to go inside and we'll show you. This uh, This was a remake. Of a Pub 99. It was a Pub 99. Yeah. For, uh, for a long time. For a lot, for a lot of years. years. Yep. 25 years. So, uh, yeah. well, uh, I think they did a great job redoing it. And, oh, yeah. Go check it out. So I'll show you real quick. The bar is over here to the right. Yeah. This is quiet right now. Oh, look at the trees. Hmm. The alcohol tree. Oh yeah, that's pretty funny. And they got a lot of uh, the Day of the Dead stuff because that's very Mexican. They got some lots of nice signs, and it's been all redone. It's really cool. So. Okay, so I'll do a quick walk through and show you this place. It's really big. Lots of booths. Uh, and this section is all like tables and booths on the other side. But it's real nice. Alright, I am going to do this manually. And it is quite the big menu. Lots of drinks, some seafood. Specials, fajitas, nachos, seafood, and traditional Mexican dinners, chicken, and then you have a steak, tacos, beverages, everything. Lots of great drinks here. Yep. What you got there? So this one is the Bahama Mama. And I was thinking I was going to get it with the skull glass, the Day of the Dead glass, but... Oh, yeah. Dia de los Muertos. It's got a very nice... I think they use the, um, that coco coconut rum. Oh, okay. Yeah. And then a lot of the coconut and that pineapple. It's really? a nice sweet drink. I do like the glass, though. I like the swirl on it. That's pretty cool. So it's got a nice glass. So, yeah, and then they give you a little table and nachos and their little homemade salsa, which has some yeah. nice big chunks once in a while. I find like their, a nice Their salsa onion. is very authentic they, and cantina yeah. style. Yeah, so you have some big It doesn't taste like there. that jarred stuff at all. It's, it looks it's spicy. It's a good medium. It's a good medium. Yeah. We've, um, we've been here before yeah. and we've learned do not overindulge in this delicious salsa. No. Or these crunchy warm chips because no, we're holding out for. Our, I actually know I'm going to get a. It's called a ceviche mixto. Yep. And it is a ceviche with a lot of lime, some cilantro, and it's using shrimp and octopus. And you're going to get one of the burritos. Yeah, I'm going to now, get one of their Texan. You had the shrimp last time. I did. I had the California burrito last time. This time I'm getting a Texan Supreme burrito. But they have this cheese sauce that is just to die for. It is oh, yeah. absolutely amazing. It makes it. And we'll show you that when we get there. But we're also going to get what? The queso fundido queso that we did fundido? not get last and time. And um, yeah, I'm looking forward to that. And the sampler platter. Oh, the sampler, which we'll show you. Show you, you a, a couple oh, of. It's got the street corn on it. Right. It's got these potatoes that are kind of like almost like a nacho potato. Yeah, I think that's what they call it, Papa Nachos, right? They have a uh, stuffed it's like a, jalapenos covered and they with wrapped bacon. In bacon. Yeah, and it's one other thing I think they put on there too. Oh, chicken wings. They yeah, put, yeah. Which are actually pretty good for Mexican. They were very good. You know, we don't really look at chicken wings in Mexican too much. You know, it wasn't nice. it wasn't too big of a stretch because uh, we have a long weekend coming up. Going to be pretty busy. I didn't feel like cooking today. Tomorrow, I got to get my hair done. So, so hey, this good. works. This works, and we get to bring you with us yeah. to Plaza Mexico. It's been here six months, maybe. At least I think it was maybe the last, beginning of the year. Yeah, yeah beginning, of the year. beginning of the year. So, yeah, the, eight or nine months. We've only been once. We really liked it. We hope you would like the, uh, the review, and we hope you give this place a shot too. All right, show you the food when it arrives. You've got your queso. Yeah. Yeah, and you have the sample came as well. But I am going to scrape the bottom because they it looks like they sauteed. Yeah, let me push this the, more towards you. Yeah, oh. it's definitely sticking to the bottom, hun. It's like the chorizo was... Uh, oh, here it is. Okay. Mm -hmm. When you start mixing it, it gets more 
meaty. See? Oh wow. Okay. There you go. I do love me a good queso. <laughs> Oh gosh, the cheese is like falling off here. <laughs> well, I'm not doing a good job. It keeps falling. You might have to just say go. Uh, I might just have to. Uh, we'll see what you get. My losses here. Oh, oh, look at. Look I at know, it's funny. It is funny. Pull, pull, pull. There you go. Perfect. Yeah, and it, uh, it doesn't actually usually come with it. I don't know, maybe it yeah. was a little confusion last time. Yeah, you gave it yeah, last time, so. If you guys like it, that's, I'm glad. It's awesome. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Enjoy, guys. Oh wow, this is really good. It's not spicy. In fact, I may add some spice to it, but it is meaty from the sausage. And the cheese cream is smooth and velvety. I really like this. The only thing I wish is that it came with some soft flour tortillas. Because it's very, very hard to eat with a chip. Maybe when it cools. Maybe if you got a bigger chip, too. Yeah, maybe when it cools, too. So. Mm. Okay. Oh, very good. All right, so I'm gonna start with the, queso with the sampler because I'm hungry and watching her eat. I need to start something. Okay, you're on. Okay, so we did. This is the sauce, the cheese, that cheese that they did not bring us, and this is cheese. And I'm actually gonna add their cheese. And what is that? Is that the? This is a jalapeno stuff. Stuffed jalapeno wrapped in bacon. Mm. Well, that sounds dietetic. The bacon makes it. Really? I'm not a big fan of I was going to say, you're not a big bacon. Stuffed jalapeno. No. It's not big enough. I'm okay with stuffed jalapenos, but this bacon that they put on there, I love. It's a, they called it tocino, which is a Spanish mm. bacon. Yep. Or Mexican to, uh, bacon, rather. Mexican. Right? Yeah. Yeah. And... Let's see if I can get this on there. One more try. And this cheese sauce is so It's made good. in heaven. Yeah. Not one to pass up. Absolutely, Gosh. that's great. Uh, do you want me to try something else quick? Here, I'll try yeah, a little sure. wing. Very crispy looking. Um, I think this is just a ranch dressing. So. It is, and that's very crispy. But let's talk about what's on mm. the sampler platter. So, Eliote Alexander, which is their version which of street, is their street corn. corn. It and looks, it looks, I think it's a mix, white and yellow corn that they use. And the chicken wings. And that, the chicken wing. The stuffed jalapeno with that's the bacon. Bacon wrapped. And this is like a little potato that they kind of do. Very it's like a Mexican. potato skin. It's a like potato a nacho. skin. Yep. And they cover it with nacho stuff. Uh, yeah, basically all your toppings from a nacho. So, but before I dig into that, let me join you and test this queso. It looks delicious, and I'm, I'm probably going to have the same problem you did. No, but the minute <laughs> it gets more, um, it started to thicken yeah, up. Yeah, I was going to say when it gets so, thicker. It's still going to be cheese, messy. Look at that fresh cheese pull on you, mm -hmm. though. This is still going to be a mess. I'm That's okay. I'll be quick. For soft flour tortillas for that, though. Mm. Which is easier and less messy than the nachos, right? It's messy. I'm going to ask for soft flour. Taco. But it's excellent. Very good. It's really good. Excellent. Okay. So we're yeah, going to continue. We'll and uh, here we go. Okay. So you're going to try... Those of you that know me know I love Mexican street corn, and I love to squeeze the lime right over it. I usually like it off the cob, but if it's a stick, I'm good with that. It looks really, it smells amazing. Mmm, oh, so sweet. Mm. It is, it's a nice sweet corn, and it it's is. It's a very sweet corn. Mmm. And it has fresh cilantro it's on cilantro, it. It's got cilantro, and now you get lime. I think it's cojita cheese, and some of the spices. And a little bit of like chili and stuff. Or it's really good. Some spice. Yep. This is a great side dish. I think I'm actually going to take it off the cob so it doesn't get stuck yeah. in my teeth, which I don't like. Yeah. And I do love the taste of... Wasn't it, wasn't it when we were on the cruise ship that they came and they took the corn right off the cob for us? Yeah. And put it right on a plate? 
making a mess of this, but the knife is not strong enough to do it. It's, it's yeah. a butter knife. I need a sharper knife. A sharper knife. Well, this is really, really good. If you like street corn, this is a must-do. There you go. Wayne's going in. Yeah. There it is. Wow, well, let's see the inside of that. Oh, you can see it's a potato skin. Mm -hmm. And there you go. Wow. Let's see the inside. Yeah, it's covered like a, a nacho. And I'm going to decide what I want on it, and I think I'm going back for that same cheese. Wow. That cheese sauce is just, oh, so good. Mm. Mm. It is, it's a nice, it's a, a nice baked potato. Very. And the taco wings, it's just like getting a taco. That's really it's good. It's ground beef, jalapeno, tomato, excellent. I'll have Okay, well, and this is the burrito. It, Which one is it? It's the <coughs> Supreme Burrito Texas. So what's in it? Shrimp, chicken, and steak. Shrimp, chicken, and oh, okay. In so it is a burrito. Supreme. It's like a house special. With like much. fajita fixings. It's like almost like a fajita burrito stuffed inside with the rice, the beans, and that. Well, give sublime. it a try. That sublime cheese sauce. The cheese is yeah, going to make it. Yeah. So, why don't you cut it right in the middle and work from the middle? You really want me to do this when I'm yeah. probably not going to get beyond? That's just it. Work from the best part. Okay. <laughs> hey, here we go. Can Thank I grab you guys you. anything else? Are we good? We're well, good. good for now. All right. Yeah. I'm just waiting on the martini for you, but it should be No out. problem. Perfect. Thank you. Do you want to see this? Absolutely. Here, let me come in close. See if I can see. Oh, I can see pretty good in there. Nice. That looks good. Yeah, you definitely want to get your best bite going. Hon, I just saw. Uh, oh my God, the shrimp is on. <laughs> All right. Well, you get and your shrimp, and you get it in that cheese. Normally, I'm not a green pepper, but when you mix the green and bell sweet peppers in a fajita mix, and look what I'm doing with this sauce, right? Oh, yeah. Oh, well, try it out. Oh my god. Did you get any beef? No, you didn't try the beef. You just got the shrimp on that one, huh? But I did get the onions. Yeah, and some I of the did. cheese. And so, oh, oh, there you side, go. You can see the beef and and the got a little bit of beef and chicken and over there. The There's a lot there you here. go. Oh god, yeah. That's all. There's a lot on top there. That's why it's the Texas. Yep. And it would look good. There you go. Strips okay. of steak. But I gotta tell you, it's having all of these meats and the shrimp in this wrapping with this freaking sauce. Yeah, it makes it easy to get a best bite. Oh, hold on. I'm gonna get a best bite. <laughs> with rice. A little rice and a little... There you go. There you it's go. a messy best bite? That's quite okay. See how you do. <laughs> That's a big bite. She's used to those little forks. Oh my God. That's a regular fork. Okay. So I know how good that cheese sauce is. It's amazing. As good as the burrito was I had the other day when we came. You think this one's? It surpasses. I got really? chicken. I got steak. Is there mushroom in there too? Did I see a mushroom? Yes, there's mushroom. There's everything in here. Oh, nice. And I thought I did. I thought I saw a mushroom. They didn't put, they didn't this. Yeah, yeah, there's a little mushroom. They didn't put the and a little rice sauce. Look at and that. Beans See, someone's inside. Gonna it. They put the rice and the beans on the outside. It's even better. Oh, that's really nice. Oh, very good. Think? Yeah, that was very good. All right, so we're gonna come in for the mixed dough, which is there's no fish. It's just octopus and shrimp with lots of seasonings, lots of lime, nice avocado slices on top. And that's actually, that sauce is, this brown, has actually got a little bit of a kick to it. It's nice. So, I'm going to try that out and let you know. She'll watch me do it. <clears throat> so, I did get the, oh, I 
forget that. What is the name of that one? I know what it was. El it's Tropical. El Tropical it's a, Martini. It's a, it's a martini. It's sweet. I had a little cherry in it. What did they put in this one? Mango vodka, pineapple vodka, and triple sack. Kind of can't go wrong. So I'm going to get myself a little piece of avocado. Yep. And it looks like I got some uh, octopus this time. Mm. And there's onions and jalapenos and tomatoes and it's all mixed in. Let me see if I can find myself some shrimp. I think I had to come over here to get one. There we go. So I got shrimp, octopus, and the octopus is super tender. That's amazing because octopus can go either way as we yeah. Portuguese now. Very tender, a nice amount of spice to it. Oh good, that and, matters. And lots of that lime acid level. And the cilantro gives it that nice Mexican. Very nice. Look at that. And what do you know, here comes another Look Mexican. Look at that beautiful, 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 beautiful plate. I know, it's almost Everybody's a shame to mess pretty, it up. Right? But, oh, it's, it's beautiful. So good. Beautiful. Everything else is okay though? And you've oh, been excellent. great, thank you. Yeah, thank, yeah, thank you guys you. so much. I'm going to have to help you. Oh, but that's so good. I'm going to give it the old needy a try. Here you go. Okay. Fried ice cream. You can't go wrong with that. All right. Well, I know you're full. But Very full, you have to try. But we're not going to let this video go without some there fried ice cream. There you go. You're right nice and close to you. And we have not tasted this here before. It's in a taco shell. Yep, and, and obviously I see, the fried ice cream is inside. I see a lot of whipped cream. I see caramel and chocolate, like a chocolate sauce. I'm I see both. In. I'm going in for the hard. Oh, it's, it's not some, soft. It's, it's, it's nice hard and hard cream. inside. Yeah. Good. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. And, I'll get and that nice little, little shell. Yep. Uh, you're gonna have to see what you get. Nice oh. and fried. No. Coating on the fried ice cream is filled with cinnamon. Oh, okay. And sugar. Yeah. So it's a ball of cinnamon sugar fried ice cream with all of this on top and in a taco bowl. Yeah. This is as good as it gets. Yep. There you go. Let me tell you, it's coming for it. Let's see what she found in there. Oh, yeah. Oh, Oops, look, I got some on me. Uh, oh, I don't even have a napkin. No, I don't have a napkin either. I'm going to need one. She took them all. We got one. All right. This is the fried ice cream. Oh. And I don't mind if it's a little bit on the I finger. I tasted it and the cinnamon sugar coating on the fried ice cream is awesome. <laughs> uh, it's kind of a big bite. Yes, it is. Uh, hold it here. Big bite. Mm. Yeah, it's not too much cinnamon. Just a little bit. It's nice. And it is a, uh, it's a nice shell, nice shell of crunch to go with it. And yeah, there's uh, that hard shell around the top. Mm. Very good. I'm gonna be so full. <laughs> I think I want some, another bite or two. Yeah. Of oh, this. Nice. I just broke a little. Yeah, this cream's still really hard. So, that was Plaza Mexico. It was delicious. <laughs> really was. <laughs> yeah, it was. Yeah, we got some nice leftovers. For you. For Tomorrow me. Tomorrow I yeah, have my busy out, day. So. Got stuff to do. I'll finish them. <laughs> That'll be good. Yeah. No cooking uh, tomorrow. No, just warm it up. So, nice easy night. Well, um, very, very great. First of all, really good service. Excellent service. Yes. And the menu is huge. And everything we got was delicious. Yeah, absolutely. So, so we highly no. recommend this place if you're local, Plaza Mexico in yeah. Seacon, and uh, we will be back. Oh yeah, we're back frequently. Yeah, I'm sure. Yeah, well, we're craving Mexican. This is probably taking the top spot. Yeah. For us. Yep. I think it has. So that's Dwayne and Nadia, food travel fun. Thanks for hanging out, watching us, joining us, watching us eat. <laughs> and we'll catch you on the next adventure. Till next time, tell your friends, subscribe if you haven't, and we will 
see you on our next adventure, wherever that is. Thank you. Bye.